Hi, welcome to my back again with another video for ya A level economics with Sunny Ravas. So, as you all know, we are here to learn economics in the most smartest manner. Apni yada metan devil line na mai economic subject theka me advanced level economic subject theka specifically me English medium crowd theka ta. Theka tera na madhi ne so English medium crowd theka ta. I'm gonna give economics knowledge in the most simplest and smartest manner. So join with me back again with another video and today you know for what lesson we are here. So as you already know, Ramai, today we are going to discuss on one most important lesson of your entire syllabus. And in that lesson also, we are going to discuss a one key crucial part which would have all the doubts in your mind. That is none other than PPC or else the production possibility curve. So join hands with me. Let's see how to identify and rather how to see and how to draw the PPCs in the most accurate manner. So this video will carry a couple of parts. And in this part, what we are going to specifically carry and to identify is how to draw a PPC and how to identify depending on the shapes and all, what types of PPCs do we have and what sort of assumptions do we make in terms of the PPC? And finally, how these movements in the PPC in terms of points and also in terms of the curve movements, how to identify them? Join with me and watch until the video where, trust me, you would get a better understanding how to tackle a PPC question at the exam. So Ramai, I'll use both the languages in the explanation so that the people who can't understand Singhala can understand it in pure English. But the people who do might have a little bit of on the fence with English, yet you might be doing English medium. So for them also, I'll explain with the use of Singhala too. So Kata Unak, Lesima Vidyata, Ikon Ikanaganna Pulva Matek. So join with me Ramai. Starting on with PPCs, this is one thing where you need to know, and it's more or less, it's a must. Right? So when it comes to PPC Lamai, what we need to know, PPC always capture, yes, the word itself, P, the production, right, production, the possibility, production, possibility, and the curve. So this is simply in a nutshell, this is production possibility curve. So when we focus about production possibility, Lamani, we do basically focus in this production possibility curve or else in the PPC about the maximum potential or else the maximum or rather Attainable output of an economy. What we can achieve production output, attainable output of an economy, right? There may be in a given period of time, we'll write them later on. In focus on the possibility perspective, in possibility line, we basically discuss not only just the output, simple output or a attainable output, but in here we discuss on what? We discuss on the maximum, the maximum potential capacity of the gun. capacity or else the output. I understood. And curve is you know, simply curve means what? Is the graphical representation. So now this is what you need to know when it comes to PPC. Before moving on, you need to know these things. What do you mean by PPC and why do you draw a PPC? So basically, why we draw a PPC? I have a PPC coming in to show the output of an economy, not a simple output, but the maximum output we could achieve. 
and that also in a graphical representation that is the curve ppc but remember when we draw a ppc or as a simple production possibility curve we have to keep couple of things in our mind so we call them as what we call them as the assumptions And we need to use of these assumptions when we draw a PPC. Here. Assumptions can never be a matter of time. If PPC is a specifically more like a level like a PPC, we make these assumptions on board. So if anyone asks you the definition of a PPC or as the definition of production possibility, the curves are the income and the income are made with a car. Muka can work now at the end of the day, even in the exam, you must include these assumptions also somewhere. Then you have to know these You need to know these assumptions are there when we draw a PPC. Why we need to know? Why you need to know? Because in the exam, you might be given a situation or else a context. So, you need to draw what? You need to draw the curve. So, to draw the curve in the most appropriate manner, you need to know the assumptions. Meva violet was now I lakaruga and the Cut the point. Nice. So coming to the point of assumptions, we have a lot, but let's identify the most key assumptions. The first main assumption is what we only use two goods. Two goods in this economy. So we only have two goods. Because of these two goods only, we have to access. Right. If we don't have two goods, then we can't find two axes. So we only have two goods. And we draw a PPC in a given period of time. So these two might not be the most key parts which determine a PPC. If we come past them, back up again, they have a have a done in a tool, graph to come in the back. Now let's identify the most key parts, most key parts we want to see. Right? First thing is what? Resource stock is constant. So when we draw this PPC during this Kenya, during this time, we call it Sema Tulalamai. Api curve ek andi ne patang gavi api assume karna. Api resource stock mein aasme ni na. Api resource stock ke liye aavid diye thebati hai na. Then the next assumption we make, we need to make, and which is more crucial, not only resources samay, but even the technology what we operate as a country, the technology we operate will also be constant. Right. These two are the most important or rather the crucial thing what we need to know. And having said all these things, if someone asks you what do you mean by a PPC, you can talk. PPC is the output of the economy or is the maximum potential capacity, the maximum output, the maximum capacity of the economy in a given period of time. When in given period of time when there are only two goods. And in a situation where resource stock is constant and technology is constant. So when we focus about the maximum possibility, we also consider on the concept of sustainability. Right? So what do you mean by sustainability? We focus on the maximum output we could go with the Given resources, material resources, of course, we use the maximum output. Have I, what do you mean by the maximum output? This is the maximum output which we achieve with the given resources. So, sustainability means what? With the given resources. So, we'll be discussing all these points when we draw a PPC properly. PPC properly, and we will come in detail. So, Focusing more on, right, moving a little bit more, 
TPC usually will have three different shapes. Right? Curve will have shapes. Curve will have a shape. Now my question for you, the people who are watching here right now with me, tell me what sort of questions rather, what sort of shapes do we have? Right? You can come into the chat box if you really want. Or else in this comment, you can put a comment. And shape, right? When we focus on the shape, we have basically three main types of shapes, right? Shape one, shape two, and shape three. And we know when we focus about the shape of these curves, the main reason behind the shape of this curve is what? That is none other than what? That is opportunity cost. So I'm not going in detail regarding what do you mean by opportunity cost, how to get opportunity cost and all these stuff. But just to give understanding, we have something called opportunity cost. I might have put videos about opportunity cost, go and have a look. But coming back to the point of PPC, as most people are struggling, right? So PPCs will have a shape because it's a curve, it's a graphical illustration. Make a lamai be curved. So shape will come into three parts. First one is what? So first one would look like something like this. This is the PPC you want to draw. Right. The next one, right, the next shape. This is the next curve. Third is like this. These are the three main shapes where we could find, but the point is we need to identify which name is this and why it arrives. We know it's due to opportunity growth, then how we identify these names and due to which opportunity cost reason or right, it's due to which a marginal opportunity because does this reason does this shape come right now i mean i mean only that i may have a in i may shape like in a plus may shape like any reason which opportunity cost to come together you need to know because exam again lame lame again killing my exam in a hundred one why there is a concave or other one then calling you up but yes concave to the origin uh that's done convex to the origin ppc cut in a year I don't know, first thing you need to include in the exam is what? Well, in opportunity cost to get type of the key It a first thing you can tell uh, heterogeneous resources, homogeneous resources, other resources, may resources, arava may work, you can tell. But that is the order you need to make. I'm willing to answer correctly at the exam, not only for A level, but even in the wider arena. Try to give this hierarchy and try to identify what is the priority. What is the umbrella ki udde khaud, pyramid ki udde inne khaud. Kye ka first thing you need to understand. So coming back to the point, we call this one as the straight line. Right, I'll just write that straight line. Straight line TPC is, right. And next we have, then uh, concave to the origin. Then we have convex to the origin. Now, I'm going to read the Balaganda Gama map take while you're looking at the video. Why don't you take a paper? Why don't you take a book? Why don't you take a, a, at least a, a later than a Patra character? And why don't you write these all these stuff with me? Look how nice this is. Like, a little bit colorful, but my handwriting might not be that. But follow up with me because I read each and every word in here. So these are like mind maps for you. These are like short notes for you. You can do it, right? So coming back to the point. Straight line PPC due to what? We know a straight line PPC arrive simply due to what? Due to constant opportunity cost. Due to constant opportunity cost. Then kept the origin due to increasing. 
of a petty cause. Convex deterioration due to decreasing opportunity cost. Right? So this is what you need to know in the first part. Then you can write the increasing opportunity cost happened due to heterogeneous resources, imperfect substitutability, like that. You can go ahead. So coming back to the point of PPC. So in real world, what we identify is that what uh, PPC, which is mostly commonly used. ऑपरेट to use as the generalized model for PPC. Now we PPC is going to talk about how PPC effects, how PPC change, how to talk about it. We use one direct one or rather one specific model that is increasing opportunity cost. Then we have to talk about how to talk about PPC and how to talk about PPC. How to draw the PPC in the most accurate manner in the exam, right? First thing, a PPC can be drawn with two axes like this. Then, depending on the shape of Metragamo maker, concave to the origin, you can draw the PPC like this. Then, someone could ask, is this completed? Am I, this diagram is not completed. Why? You have identified, you need to identify this part first. This is the mask. This is also must. Then I all a method X and Y equal to the other. You need to write this word good because why? We make the assumption we use only two goods. If goods they got, then I usually focus on that. But you need at least like X good, Y good. They mean that industry ke har you need to include. Taman yahan pe two good ke na basis se kya nahi? Taman ek good ke na tamai liya nahi, right? So make a liya nahi hona. Next one you need to understand. Ha, we have something called make a number ke na tamai kya nahi? We call this one as the origin. So you need to mark zero there. It is also thing you need to do. The next most important is most of the time in this class, even at the exam, is what you miss marking this one. Right. So this is the PPC. This last part is also the most mandatory part you need to include when you draw a PPC. All three of them I so far shaped the. So you know what a PPC is, how to de derive a definition. Yes. Then you know what. What do you mean by opportunity cost and how opportunity cost arise and impact on the PPCs, different type of PPCs. Then you know. Okay, we use this PPC, and to draw the PPC in the most accurate manner, we use increasing opportunity cost because that is the most frequent thing. And when you draw the curve, we use the assumptions like this, and then we draw the curve by marking the axis, marking the origin, understanding the curve, and plus marking the curve. Or take a shape, kill I hope. Right. So until right now, now Lamai, we have discussed the initial ground. We have ground the first part of the thing. Look, of course, initial ground we will go into that. We have discussed. चेंज of PPC. I have a close eye on this. Now we are going to discuss on the change of PC, PPC. How the PPC change here and there. That is what we are going to discuss. So now, ideally, when it comes to the change of PPC, we do have two main type of change. B 
is you have two main type of type of change types of changes they got the other one a cup time look at the up in done point movement right a point movement next one is what a curve movement Point movement they got here, and a curve movement they got here. So how a point movement ideally would work? Usually, a point movement is we have the x good, we have the y good, zero, and b b z. Right now, assume now assume you do operate in point a. Right. Now you operate in point A. Now you make a point movement to B. This is also a point movement. And also, assume you have something called point C. Right. This is the best thing. You have point C. So moving from here to here is also a point movement. And also moving from here to here is also a point movement. So, Lamai, the point movement can happen along the curve, inside to the curve, or else invert to the curve, or else outside to the curve, or else outward. And even Lamai, not only here, you can even have an change of the movement of the point, even for here, D. This is also a point movement. So point movement can happen in different perspectives and different areas and different locations. Curve movement would ideally be X good and Y good, right? So this is the starting PPC, PPC one. PPC two and PPC three. So curve movement also, lama, will have this outward movements and inward movements. This is a call. Have you understood? Now, one thing you need to know when you draw a graph in terms of this curve movements, we lama will draw up with our frequently varad the point graph because what a dhanne hai thekama, right? So usually when you draw a PPC curve like this, lama, when you shift this curve. You usually do this mistake of marking the curve movement something like this. Me mera the wala skar do ne the. Me din dana ni kam kohi baat ne tu. Me din dana ah meke increase na meke decrease ma kya. Tamai don't do that mistake because it's a mistake. Normally in economics and not only in economics but even in mathematics, right? Man dana wala match karan nae kya but you guys have done all the match ma. Right. Okay. Curve. Okay. Shift. Karadi. We usually need to show that shift by using first thing by using two arrows. Okay. Shift. Okay. Karana la mai arrows. Deka pavichu karana. Why we use two arrows? Because we have two axes. Axes. Deka tien hinda. Okay. Arrows. Deka pavichu. And the other thing is, okay. Move in hinda. Grow in a hinda. We need to use. Two arrows parallel to the two axes. Diagonal ne me na mai parallel de ya ne. So I will need to be something like this parallel, right? This is parallel, right? Parallel and also other way around. So you need to make it. Parallel, so that when you draw the graph, they know. Okay, from this axis, it has increased. From this axis, it has increased. So eventually, the overall curve has increased. So that is what you need to know when you draw a curve and a point movement in a PPC. But let me. This is just a heads up, right? But I know. Look, this entire diagram and entire board now has comprised of a little bit of like a short note. I don't just copy these things. This is free for anyone. So just get the best out of this one. So this has a starting point to 
TPC. Abai lawa dan tamai apa aja lawa detail yang ni aja. So let's jump into the detail and see how to really understand whether it's a point movement, whether it's a curve movement. How are we really going to understand? Exam macam mana situation ni kat dunia? Apa yang kau muda make a point movement ni kat sini, make a curve movement ni kat sini. Muda I know, I have been in your situation. Pandangnya mah, pertama mah ini ada. It's really tough and Hari ini mulai berhenti lembaga. How to understand whether this is a point curve inward outward? I know you can. But the point is whether to understand make point or a curve movement. So now let's start and dig deep and understand how to identify rather whether it's a point movement and a curve movement. Trust me, I will go very slow because it is the most important part of this lesson. So stay tuned with me. Let's start right away. Right now, my back again. So, with this point movement and curve movement, if you could remember during our class, we discussed this in detail how to understand a point movement and a curve movement. So, if you are a student who is coming new to our sessions and classes, you might wonder okay, what is that trick? It's really easy for us to understand. Now, let's come back to the whiteboard and see how the things would fall into and how to understand whether this is a point movement or a curve movement. Trust me. So this is the first point of understanding whether it's a point movement or a curve movement. So first argument or the first loophole or rather the first loop you need to make is to see whether or else if 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 this impact, if this situation, right, if this situation or else if this impact, whether this is short term or whether this is a long term impact. Whether this is short term or long term, short term may be very immediate. Even in the exam, they might be immediate or maybe short term. So now, if it is a short term impact, what do you mean by short term? The things happen very temporarily, maybe not more than a one year. Mr. Lama, this is not regarding the short run, long run. We have a short run, long run comes in a different lesson. Mr. Nakazagaran about short term and long term. So usually short term would be less than a year. So if you focus on anything, any concept, any incident, Palavini Mama Yagim Karanga. Whether this situation, right? If this situation is a short term, having a short term impact, or as whether it's making a long, very long term impact. So now, if it makes a short term impact, then what we are looking at is a point movement. If we look at a long term impact, trust me, this is more or less a curve movement. Because in economics, we know we focus really on this time frame. That time frame might be year, maybe months. And in, 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 in costing lessons, we know that time frame is not specifically year or month, but depending on how they are cost based, cost behave rather. It is my PPC under the the first question you need to argue may be that in a situation like the situation we have been given whether it have a short term impact on the economy or whether it have a long term impact on the economy. So what do you mean by short term impact? It is not sure that my short term impact is the end of the day. You will have impacts, right? You will have impacts. More or less, right? More or less, you will have impacts. And you can come back, right? You will have that impact for a period less than a year. Samanilama impact out of the Kasiva again, it's a short term thing. But Samana will have this year can be this concept of this constraint of year can be maybe depending on the question and the concern. It can be maybe less than five years also. 
right? So this can vary from the question to question depending on the context. But usually, la mai, nika aurud da kaste vage vena dia. Na ta aurud paha kaste vena dia vage na we usually call it as a short term impact. But in the exam, the examiner would be very specific, right? The examiner would be very specific with this word of immediate impact or else temporary impact, right? You can write the impact would be temporary. The impact would be temporary. Very temporary, right? So the impact is very temporary and you can bounce back. That is a short term impact. That is what we use. That is what we use to draw a point movement. That is the basis. So if it is having a very temporary movement, rather temporary impact. For the impact again on theory and I, we use a point movement to reflect that. And if it is having a very long term impact, I then Lamai, we use a curve movement. Now, now only the point comes. Okay. How are we really going to argue and see whether this really makes a long term impact? That short term impact, you would be given the word of immediate impact, temporary impact, short term impact. But in terms of this long term impact, sometimes the examiner might not give you directly calling it's a long term impact. Long term impact. Have I what you can imply long term impact? Now you need to argue how to understand and make sure then what are you doubtful in exam where make a short term make the make a long term make the kill up crush like eight pass every like yeah you are again one up at a short term long term basis again gun like here then come on understand granny whether this is a long term thing that is where your assumptions you draw what are the assumptions assumptions you draw assumptions you use rather to draw the ppc would come into play apila my assumption ekak dem mata ka assumption ekak nem assumption kuda asen etokote assumption sticker would be playing a very critical role in here if you could remember just to refresh a little bit more what are the assumptions we use we use what we use two products ekak thing ekak concern ekak nane komak dekai ne then we use in a given period of time. And hey, oh, yes, it is a given period of time. That's why we do. Now, what you have? You have something called what? Resource stock being constant, technology being constant, and productivity being constant. Now, what you can derive from there? Lamai, by any chance, if we expand, if the examiner focus something like that way, where your resource stock change, I need a little bit of space. So, right? If the examiner trigger the point that your resource stock change. And what? And your productivity change. Lamai, if the examiner trigger on these points, what is our stock? Technology, productivity. If the examiner is focusing on these three parts specifically, then Lamai, it is more or less what? It is more or less a curve movement. Mata katiya kanu the the exam me ki dena o na mathe ek bala na resource stock ke kame resources stock ke kya na magad what is available for us as an economy me economy ki resource stock ke ka atu vena vana or as value vena vana then ek resource stock ke ka bala na short term impact ke kame na bolu am but exam me ki saman resource stock ke ka atu vena hai resource stock ke kya na magad na mai. The available, right? What do you mean by resource stock? Resource stock means these are the available resources for an economy.
ोजी productivity is the same context you might have simple technology and maybe uh, more or less the same amount of resource stuff maybe you have the same amount of resource stuff but due to some more more reasons your productivity change am i going to productivity very well but productivity can amuka di you just need to use very limited amount of inputs to generate the same amount of output poda ganna puluwa me podda invest karala etu kada mukada wenne ape resource to ekka wedi wela naha habai output ta ekka pata wedi wenawa neda so exactly ke di me thuna gana loku wata trigger karanawa na then more or less it is a long term impact habai lama exam ekke di kapati wenna chutta be little bit khani meka ta enna kali try to filter it from here itself metani ma filter karanna balanna metani filter karanna bare wuno if you need some kind of a proof अरे एक्साम के आप ही पॉलिसी रे केस तक आता है होगा ना मत तीन महीने में एक्साम पॉलिस ऑफिसर बाल ना आप क्या ना एवेलेम डिसीजन ने करने पुराने के ना मेरे को बाल ना मैं आता हूँ मिनी मगर मैं आता हूँ मोटर के ये हम बैरियर नाम का देखा ना नहीं थोड़ा डिटेल जाना है भाई कुछ लोग हम क्यों आते हैं वहाँ Yeah, murder like that. Kian, what are those? You need proof. So, I mean, the same thing you need to follow. You can at a glance say short term, the long term, the Cuba government. At a glance, you can say, "Hey, short term, na point movement. Long term, na curve movement." Kira. Have I that decision need to be grounded with the proof? Then, me ka tamay all the proofs dega. Exam me kiri me ka mera kata kiri na impact ki immediate, temporary kira. Kira ang it's a fine movement. अब एक्साम में ये खाता करना ना वेरी लॉन्ग टर्म मूवमेंट टेक आता लॉन्ग टर्म इम्पैक्ट टेक आता लाइक रिसोर्स टॉप के बिना स्पेन एक टेक्नोलॉजी के बिना स्पेन एक प्रोडक्टिविटी के बिना स्पेन एक दे आर लॉन्ग टर्म इम्पैक्ट्स हम लॉन्ग टर्म ना लमाई इट्स अ कर्व मूवमेंट सो दैट इज द सिंपल आइडियोलॉजी वी नीड टू हैव देन मां कीवर्ड पास से यान ना गिला पास पे पास ट्राई करन पास पे सर बलन ने मेक अ शॉर्ट टर्म में का मेक अ लॉन्ग टर्म में का दे फॉर एन एग्जांपल लमाई गन्ना वेरी द माइंडसेट टेक आप माइक्रो कंसेप्ट्स में ना ने पॉइंट्स वाली मैक्रो कंसेप्ट्स में ना ने कर्व्स वाली क्या एक है मेरा भी एक इसे टोटल डिफर संपूर्ण है मेरा देखा ये लॉजिक के करें आने पा हरी में लॉजिक के कलाम आये मुकादे मेन ने में बुलिंग बलान ने लेकर शॉर्ट टर्म इंपैक्ट का दे लॉन्ग टर्म इंपैक्ट का मगर लॉन्ग टर्म इंपैक्ट का तीन और क्या नाम है मुकादे दिस विल हैव व्हाट दिस विल हैव इंपैक्ट्स ऑन योर पोटेंशियल लॉन्ग अभी जाना प्रोडक्शन पॉसिबिलिटी कर सो पॉसिबिलिटी रिफ्लेक्ट पर पॉसिबिलिटी रिफ्लेक्ट द पोटेंशियल आउटपुट पोटेंशियल कैपेसिटी सो लॉन्ग टर्म इंपैक्ट्स विल हैव इंपैक्ट्स ऑन द पोटेंशियल आउटपुट विल हैव पोटेंशियल इंपैक्ट्स और एस पोटेंशियल इंपैक्ट्स ऑन राधा इंपैक्ट्स ऑन द पोटेंशियल आउटपुट सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दिस टू रीजंस आर माय नाउ यू कैन ड्रो द कर्व दे मा खाली इन ग्राफ कैन दा नी Now let's understand how to draw the graph. So when you draw a fine movement, as I said, so long I we have so much of space and so much of base and so much of space that we can have the fine movement. So I'll draw everything in a one uh, simple place and I'll try to name them. so we have points like this we have point a we have point b we have point c for the time b so what do you point a would means point a would means that you are there on the production possibility now let's argue and come back to the point of moving from a to b
This is the first time A to B. So what has happened from A to B? Okay, let us see. Lamai. What is the is it a short term impact or a long term impact? Yes, I know now. You know the answer. But it's a short term, right? It's a point movement. Okay, again, it's a short term impact. Okay, when the more. So what has been happened? Economy ke output take. What has happened? I might be inverse. So output. May output take a potential output take a actual output take a pay. May apply actual output take a pay. All the mathematical data meter there can be students who might be learning this concept for the very first time. But there can be students who learn this entire thing. Uh, maybe uh, like you can even learn on the main in a cut here. So we cut here and done now. You have learned something called what? The business cycle. Business cycle. We have something called what? Potential rather potential output and actual output. So having said that. What a point would mean all the time would mean what would mean the actual output. So output. So we are focusing on the actuals. So actual output has what? Actual output has reduced the line. A to B. Now given the context like that way, we will try to do the same sort of an idea in here. Again, I think uh, movement again, I'm going to look at whether you can understand this concept properly. But it has to be other way around. Yeah, it is more or less uh, equivalent. Right. It has reduced. Now, now my what? In here, the actual output has reduced for a short period of time. Reduce for a temporary period. Now in here, what has happened? Now we are discussing on PPC one to PPC two movement. PPC one to PPC two movement. So this is more or less. This is also what the meter. That means the point need to come. The meter of penna ne mukha actual output take a do we need? But meter na penna ne lama actual output take a to bada actual mukha the. Capacity dot value decrease in the decrease in the what production capacity production capacity or else what possibility. So what do you mean by decrease in the production capacity or else possibility? Now my method I pick up on the about the potential output of the country. Right. So in here we discuss on the actual output, but in here we discuss on the potential output. Right. Just to give a heads up on the uh, business cycle, if you could remember, it shows something like this. Huh? But again, it's not business cycle. This is your actual output, and this is your potential output. And we have time, and we have output. So what about it? It's a problem. Me, good actor, and then fluctuations, short term fluctuations, it's okay. Then then, point movement again, up and down. But then long term potential drawn, it's okay. Then then, then then make it that way. So this is the primary thing you need to know. Now let's come into another point of moving from maybe D to A, right? Maybe the other way around. So now what has happened? The output is. Right, output is increased. Now you know this is what this is actual output, and this has increased temporary. Now you know the scenario, right? Now you know how to build this one. Now let's come into this place. So now the PPC has increased. So now we are looking at a place where PPC from PPC one to PPC three. 
Now we are going to run Now what has happened? It is more or less an increase in the capacity. Production possibility. Or as what? Potential output has increased. Potential output has increased. So this is the ideology you need to have in between. Now you can argue, right? Okay, what due to what reasons do we see uh, usual uh, due to what reasons do we see uh, temporary pot uh, pot uh, actual output decrement? Due to what reasons? Temporary actual output decrement. Most of my this is due to we call this one as what one one no then the mass. It is a recession. Which is more or less a short term thing. Now another one. Unemployment. Now coming back to the point now, my unemployment, look at unemployment. What do you mean by unemployment? The unemployment can I where people are there that we could work. We do have people who could work. We have the capacity, but they do not really work. We have the capacity, but they do not work. Look, thus it has impacts on our resource stock. Better karan na pulang karti inna wa. Ekhen resource stock kiri kisi mo balabamo kela na kisi mo impact ekat na. Habay munti ka better karan din na. Ekhen concept ekat na. So better karan na pulang karti inna wa. The people who can work are there, but they do not work properly. So resource topic we have an impact. Look, no resource topic impact. It's just a very short term temporary place where they do not work properly. Unemployment has increased due to this. Look at the way. Actual output we can operate in the bag. We can't operate in this actual output. That is simply the moment. Okay, Tamay Lamay ideological digestion. Okay, consider the correct one of exam in the point you can argue. This is just a simple flow chart for the program. If blah blah blah, then 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 Expansion is a short term kind of growth, but it is not growth, it is short term output increment. It's an expansion. It's an expansion and unemployment take out of it, we can write reduction in unemployment. Right? That can write. And also you can write all these reasons, practical other reasons. Like for an example, for this one, I could remember back then uh, there was a paper in the exam, labor strikes. Then Baba Balan labor strike strike the people who die, the people who do the strike won't die. They just temporarily say that we are not gonna produce. That's a labor strike. So in that case, we can't see a movement neither. I taking up the resource stock to change the longer in the long term. Up in temporarily put that in up to run now, not again. That is simply the meaning behind why we draw these curves. And coming back to here, what are the reasons why this would happen? So it's much easier in here because we do have. So let me talk about this. This scenario, right? I would say something like this. Right. So, if there is any kind of a positive, rather not decrease the convenience, if there is any sort of a negative impact on each of these three, negative impact, here they can add to it. Negative impact in each of these three, trust me, it is what? It will result in this scenario. So, I will write this. This entire part, right? Yeah, we need to have these need to have a negative impact. I write like this.
a negative change a negative change of these stuff these three yeah mark kala thiyuna thuna e kiyana mokada resource stock ekak adu wenna resource stock ekak adu wenna kohoma thara mai maybe what maybe a tsunami overnight a tsunami can wipe away the entire country right so tsunami ekak maybe the long disruptive go go eka goda kala thibbama e wage wenna resource stock ekak adu wenna api landslide ekak pada godak kuna right so just see etakota resource stocks adu wenna and technology hadith yari mukak kare wela concern ekak wela data hacking wela ara wela meya wela technology downturn ekak aw then productivity adu wenna api minisunge api minus hitang inna la lanka minus hitana apu api sri lanka sta api 2500 proud itiya se we do have we don't need to work someone from above would come and give us food and all then what would happen productivity adu wenna right productivity adu wenna ama mostly me productivity me ekka dawasin adu wenna ne ඒක අඩු වෙනම ලොං ටර්ම් දැන් ඒකන ළමයි මේ කතාවටත් කියන්නේ ලෝකල්ස් ලගේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාස් ලගේ ප්‍රොඩක්ටිවිටි පට්ට අඩුයි වෙන එක කම්පෙයර්ස් ටු වට් වෙන එක කම්පෙයර්ස් ටු දි ජපනීස් පීපල් ඇන්ඩ් දිස් ඩේස් වී හැඩ් දිස් ඉෂුව ඔෆ් ඊස්රායලියන් පලස්තීන් සෝ ඉෆ් යු ගෙට් ඇන් අයඩියා අබවුට් ඊස්රායල් ඊස්රායල් ඔල්සෝ වොස් එස්ටැබ්ලිෂ් ඇස් ඇන් නිව් කන්ට්‍රි ඉන් 1948 දැන් මං ඉඳලා ළමයි දන්නවා 1948 මොකද උනේ කියලා නේද ලංකාවේ ඇත්තම් කියයි දන්නේ දන්නේ නැහැ කියලා 1948 is the year where sri lanka got the independence ඉතින් ළමයි ඒ අවුරුද්දේ ඊස්රායල් and sri lanka both got the same rather more or less kind of an independence and set up a new country අලුත් දෙයක් අපි පටන් ගත්තා but what has happened over the time the israeli productivity has increased so much where sri lanka's productivity has decreased gradually so it will have a very negative impact on the economy so any negative change on these factors will result in a ppc shift to inverts so we know we call this one as an inverse shift and it is an outward right inverse and outward then what about these two So if there is any sort of an if there is any sort of an any sort of an I write change in this manner change we know we use delta to change any sort of an positive change. any sort of a positive change then lamai the tpc would be increase right so we'll write couple of examples right what economic growth right so we can write in here economic growth right economic growth is one thing what is so technology development techno development what more right what more working population increase or not labor force increment population growth right sometimes maybe maybe discovering new raw materials discovering no new land discovering every other stuff so that will have positive impact right positive impact on your assumptions you have made before right it will have positive impact on the assumptions you have made before right on the assumptions we have made before which would result in a curve movement whether it's a rightward movement or as a leftward movement am i clear enough for the time being but we have one more part in here how about a movement from a to z right a to c so in here we would see we have gone out of our capacity we have gone out of the place or as other whatever we could provide and we have could make the output whatever we could make as an output is this curve but now we have skyrocketed and we have gone out of the curve 
අපිට යන්න පුළුවන් ළමයි මීටර් 100යි හැබැයි අපි මීටර් 500ක් විතර ගිහින් ඉන්නවා දැන් ඒ එක්සැම්පල් එකම ගන්න ඔයාලට හිතනවා ඔයාලට දුවන්න පුළුවන් මීටර් 100යි ඒ වට උපරිම දුවන්න පුළුවන් මීටර් 100යි හැබැයි you have run 500 meters so you can you have consumed in extra energy from your body and you have run that extra mile the same story is here lah this curve reflects this entire curve reflects more or less our potential output so now what you have done you have moved out it means you have gone to these places you have run the extra mile which reflects what we have exceeded we have exceeded exceeded our can no nen api dana api ke we have exceeded the potential output but this is for temporary period right we have exceeded the potential output for a very short term very temporary period so what we call this as in practice we call usually this for network as a economic boom or else as a peak what do i assume you would just give a point in here and the examiner would tell you there is a point called c where you want to achieve so badly but in reality and in practice you can only achieve up to point a what am i point c tama achieve karanna ona habai fact attarama what achieve karanna puluwam point a nu ekena wa point a ekak den nawathila inne habai what attarama annawana mokata the point c ekata now the examiner would ask okay what is that point c given that you are at point a oya point a ke inam mehema baladdi point See, ki ane mo khadde ke lahe wo. Tamai what is this? Look, this is the capacity you can go. This is the available resources you have. This is the limited resources you have. But this reflects what? This reflects the scarcity principle of economics. Because this is what you could achieve. Now you are at what point A? You have gone the maximum. You have achieved the fullest of wherever you could go. But you still want to go for that c part that c level which is the scarcity that that gap is simply the scarcity so you can identify this point also as scarcity and in some books you would see this gap is identified as scarcity and some say that point is scarcity either way it's right but in your syllabus it is reflected at the point so point c would reflect scarcity So now, my look. It's an overview that you need to know how to draw and how to get everything into one page like this. The banana my man, kisi me note tag karte hain, mukut na toh, vechan na vila. Man ki udhar chhina de, man kisi na dasan na dilo. Then if I teach this in a different manner, sometimes the drawing might be different. So I know you have a chance now to revisit this video for the for like unlimited times. Aye para kaya para banana pula. So this. video would basically cover the entire ppc part and would only miss two important parts e tika ami part 2 ekedi katha kar but part 1 ne kelama i have discussed what do you mean by ppc how to draw a ppc and the assumptions in the ppc and most importantly how to identify whether this is a short term impact and whether this is a long term impact but more or less exam ekedi ahanna mokada whether this is a point movement or else whether this is a curve movement right so ek ganne kohomada kiyana ka i have explained you in a nice manner in the most simplest manner that someone could teach you so first question follow up with me la mai math ekama kiyanna pala wenne mola mona dahanno ne exam ekak ida question ekak dakkama first argue and first see whether this have this situation has a short term impact or as a long term impact on the economy short term come exam me give you immediate impact 
temporary impact those are the synonyms where you can touch with next hari den onna dalana den api danno are varadda karala wage now we need to identify we need to make sure that he is the murderer right now you need to follow up and supplement them with the proofs if it is a long term impact then it will have a direct impact on your resource stock on your productivity and on your technology directly indirectly lamai there would be other reasons also but this see me thulata ani varam there would be an impact and balan da vedha it impact makes sense on your potential output vage capacity ga improvement ga so the capacity ki impact ga thiyena da kiyala lamai you need to argue and see first impact ekak thiyena wannan oya ki capacity ekata e kiyanne the your potential output ekata if you have an impact on your potential output then trust me it's a curve movement but if it does not have an that sort of an triggering impact on your potential output but it might have a little sense of eta meda putta vadinna karanna puluwang adu wenna wedi wenna puluwang your actual temporary output ekata Actual temporary output is very much something like this. I do, I do not. Now it's the point moment. So I hope it's in a nutshell. It's there, and now in your head, you just need to revisit the video for a better understanding, right? So I'll give. I'll just move out for a while. You have the full board. You can pause the video if you really want. You can make the notes, and then we'll uh, wrap up the session, and we'll meet up in the next video where we'll be discussing the. supplementary parts and even the additional parts of ppc where we will be discussing about economic efficiencies and also about the future and today's consumption behavior in terms of the living standards so now i thank you once again if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel just make it a subscription and you will learn a lot about economics plus about the economic make reality make simple and plus most importantly the study acts Thank you and stay tuned. Have a look on the whiteboard, and if you really want, make a little note.